Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Wally Gator, IBEW local inside journeyman wireman. I got this channel up for you travelers or want to be travelers or just the curious. Show you how I'm doing this traveling as a union electrician. I'm by no means a professional YouTuber. So this is the end of week one. I called a, uh, I called a call. So when I caught the call, the uh, I got all my paperwork and called the uh, other local unions that I had the uh, had my name on their book tubes. I called those books and told them. I called those union halls, told them to take me off their books. So I'm out here at a state park in Illinois. So yeah, that way I wouldn't be double booking. I took my name off their list because I had a job. I took a call. And so there we go. I took a call at a solar farm out here in Lena, Illinois. And it's my first solar call. I've never worked a solar project before. I'm gonna walk around this lake and uh, talk to you guys. So yeah, never worked a solar farm before, so here we go. After week one, my impression is it's a lot of rep repetitive uh, work over and over, installing the panels or adjusting the uh, brackets for the QC. Uh, uh, they got me on the QC project, so uh, I'm making things right. Paint touch up because, you know, we're up here... Uh, where things will rust real quick if uh, there's any bare metal. So we're having to touch up some paint, paint spots on motors and stuff, stands. And uh, I've met a lot of good local brothers. Shout out to uh, my man, Paul. He's got a YouTube video himself called Tramp Life. T-R-A-M-P-L-Y-F-E. Check out his channel. He's uh, going around doing the same thing I'm doing, traveling around the country wherever he wants to go and taking calls and uh, living as cheaply as possible. That's what I'm doing. Out here on the dam of the lake right now. So yeah, there are thousands of solar panels out here going on this site it's uh the farm is uh i think it's to power amazon and uh, they got a wind farm also yeah i'd like to get into some uh wind windmills uh what do you call it wind wind farm work i guess i'd like to get into that too but uh one step at a time let's get this solar uh done and uh that'd be a good call too but uh, I'd have to find out where the next wind farm would be and the next solar farm. I do like it up in this area. They got some beautiful countryside. So as you can see with this right here, we're already working overtime on it. I took a, a five tens call. So uh, it may be possible Saturdays. Looks like we're working tomorrow, I think, cause they got rained out last week. So. They got to keep pushing this project along. So, just seen a bluebird go in there. Oh yeah. Woo! Not harassing you. Just looking. So anyway, any of you guys worked on the solar farm? What were your thoughts? You like it? Don't like it? How long were you there? This is the end of my first week, and uh, so far so good. Uh, I'm gonna try to ride this one out to the end, which will be in September. So that'll probably be, uh, this is uh, May, June, July, August, September. Maybe I can make four months out of this call. So up here out of local 364, Rockford, Illinois. And if you have worked on both, which do you like best, solar or wind farms? Or does it matter? Solar's a lot of walking out in the uh, field back and forth. Probably the wind farm is uh, a lot of climbing. So 
I don't know if I could climb to the top of one of those. I don't know how lenient they are on that or how much they help you or anything. So it might be too old for the wind farm. Anyway, got a good uh, crew of guys I'm working with, meeting a lot of new guys. And uh, that's how this thing goes, networking. Meet a lot of guys that you'll uh, be friends with for the rest of your life. A lot of these young apprentices, I know they get tired of hearing our stories, but uh, us old timers love telling stories about things we've done, projects we've worked on, things we've saw back in the day. So anyway, I'm gonna get out of here and make another video uh, pretty soon. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you would, in the comments, leave your local union number if you're a member of a union, whether it's the uh, electrician's union, the IBEW, or any other union. Uh, give me the local number and what, what your position is, maybe. Are you young uh, apprentices, fifth years, have probably turned out by now and you're thinking about hitting the road go ahead now is like one of the best times in recent memory for being able to hit the road and jobs being just about everywhere you want to go so have fun out there be safe brothers sisters love you give me a thumbs up local union number and i'll see you on the next one goodbye